In this video, I will demonstrate how to bleed the hydraulic clutch in a 2001 Ford F-150 with a 4.2 liter V6 engine. This will be accomplished without an assistant and by using regulated low air pressure. I originally tried to bleed this clutch by just cracking the bleeder, which I usually do with brakes, and then press the pedal several times to push air and fluid out the leaky bleeder and all this did this time was empty the master cylinder of the clutch system. Now I had no pedal at all. So I had to resort to this air pressure method to recover without having to remove the master cylinder. My pressure regulator is this old barbecue propane regulator with its hose and the original on off valve for the burners. This makes a perfect two and a half pound air pressure regulator. The master cylinder cap was modified by drilling an undersized hole and pushing a valve stem into the hole and also putting a screw into the vent hole in the cap. So now we had a pressurized cap. Remove this rubber diaphragm from the master cylinder and then I connected my system as shown here. I also cut a stick to the appropriate length so that it would hold the clutch pedal all the way down while I did the bleeding. The stick method works because the air pressure in the master cylinder prevents air from coming back into the bleeder when I burp the bleeder. I found that you could burp the bleeder three times and then you had to refill the master cylinder before it ran out of fluid. After each burp, you have to remove the stick, releasing the clutch pedal, and then push it down two or three times to put the stick back in place. Then it is a simple matter of burping the bleeder until there is no more air left in the system. Notice the mist and the hiss it makes when there is air still in the system. During the final burping of the system, I was trying to keep my hand out of the way so you could see it on the camera, but that was proved to be quite difficult. During the burping process, you loosen the bleed port and you only tighten it with your fingers. This way you can open and close it quickly to bleed it each time you could do a bleed cycle. During the burping process, always use your fingers to tighten the bleed that way you can un you open it and close it quickly with your fingers. Once you're finished, then use a wrench to finalize tightening the bleeder port. This is a demonstration of the proper clutch pedal travel. Notice it starts away at the top with pressure. And after a few days, this went down a little bit. I had to go back and burp it again. But that's the process that works for me. hope it works for you, too. Now just remove the screw plug in the vent hole and place a valve cap on the valve stem and everything's back to normal.